Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and today I'm looking at the D14 2018 edition from Lakewood Guitars. This limited edition 12 fret dreadnought guitar from Lakewood features solid mahogany top, back and sides, a mahogany neck with an ebony fingerboard, a bone nut with a 45mm width that sits on a soft V carved neck that has a 650mm scale length. The guitar also has a bone saddle which has a spacing of 57mm and it ships with a Lakewood branded Hiscox hard case and has an RRP of £1,630. I've been very impressed by the previous Lakewood guitars that I've reviewed here at Acoustic Review, so let's have a listen to this guitar now and see if it matches up to my expectations. The first thing that catches my eye with this guitar is that the top has some quite distinct striping on it. It's quite a striking look actually on an otherwise plain guitar, although that's not to say that the guitar is unattractive. It's definitely a less is more vibe going on with this instrument. There's not much to distract the eye, but there are a couple of nice touches like the ebony end cap on the base of the heel. And also the tuner buttons are a figured wood, which gives a real nice classy touch to the guitar without kind of bringing the bling quota up too much. Build quality is very high, it's a very cleanly built guitar inside and out. Obviously the satin finish isn't as smooth as a high gloss finish, but unlike some other satin guitars, there's no rough patches anywhere on this instrument, it's finished to a very high standard. I really like the tone of this guitar, it's clear, it's clean, it's sparkly, it's articulate. To be fair, it doesn't quite have the oomph of some other 12 fret dreadnoughts, but the bass tone is definitely there, it's round and smooth, it doesn't get tubby at all. The guitar is definitely biased towards the treble but there's no harshness, even if it does get a little bit crispy when strumming hard. I think that crispiness could be tamed a little bit if you used some warmer strings, but I also think the guitar is obviously very new, so with a bit of playing maybe that will just tame down a little bit and the guitar will open up and become a little bit warmer. It's very easy to play with a beautiful low action and perfect fretwork. The soft V carved neck sits in the hand really well and the spacing at both the nut and the saddle is perfect for finger style work and more than adequate for other styles of playing. To be fair, if you're only playing lead runs you might prefer a different string spacing but there's nothing about the neck, the nut or the saddle that's going to get in the way of any playing styles on this guitar. The one thing that might get in the way of some playing styles obviously is the 12th fret neck joint which does restrict your access to the higher frets of the guitar. but that also does mean that the bridge is placed a bit more centrally on the soundboard, which adds to the responsiveness of the guitar. So, you know, it's a, a win-lose situation in some ways, but I think the gains of responsiveness are definitely worth the lack of access to the upper frets. I think this guitar could find a home with many different styles of players. Anyone who's interested in a clear, clean and great playing guitar should definitely have a look at it. That said, if you are after a more traditional American voice with a bit more girth to the low end, this might not be the particular guitar for you, but I do think that singer-songwriters and instrumentalists alike could find many things to enjoy about this guitar. 
£1,630 for an all-solid European-made guitar that comes with a high-quality Hiscox case. Seems like a fair price to me, particularly when you look at the quality of the workmanship on this guitar, which really is up there with some of the best that I've seen. Another excellent sounding, excellent playing and superbly built guitar from Lakewood. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you next time.